Have you ever doubted yourself? And it could be about anything, you know, like um, who you're supposed to be, if you should take that next job, if you should go into that next relationship, or if you can accomplish that goal that you set for yourself, the thing that you see in front of you, and you will have that doubt whether or not you can do it. I have. I've done it all in my life, and I'm 73 now, so I know that we all have doubt. It doesn't matter what it is. I can remember um, back in 1988 when my coach told me that I needed to coach. I said, no, I can't do that because I doubted myself, and I wasn't going to do it. And he started explaining to me this process of evolution. He goes, no, no, you can do it because you have taken everything from me and you'll be better than me one day, which seemed insane to me because how could that have been? You're the star. You're the big guy. How could I have become something more than you? Now I know that he, what he was saying is that we each are supposed to become more, but we have doubt because we haven't done it yet. And it's that place of moving into the unknown of who we are. And that can be really frightening at times. And it could be especially frightening right now because we happen to be existing during a great planetary ascension is what I've called it, or a restructuring as what's come through my channeling and through my Wilhelm. But still the doubt of that was so tremendous. Even when I was told years ago, wait a minute, you're going to move through this stuff and you've got something that could really help people because you've gone through so much of it. But I still had doubt. I said, that couldn't possibly be me. And then the weird things started happening because we all have seen the changes that are happening in our world. We're, we're wondering what's happening. Well, I was told what was happening. And the and the thing was, I was told before it actually happened. And that was the thing that was so challenging and weird to, to accept. And so the doubt got even bigger. And so, so many people are moving through that doubt right now. I just saw something about um, Elmo. Elmo made a, a statement on X yesterday asking a question, how do you feel? And every, what what's or something like that, what, how, what's going on with you? And everybody, it's the biggest thing ever started talking about, I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on, please. <laughs> I'm having an existential crisis, whatever it was. That's because we're all moving through a planetary ascension. So you're going to doubt yourself. But what I do know is that every single person born has come to the world with something to offer. And if they start doing that and loving themselves, this change won't be quite as challenging. See, because the change is going to go on for a while. And this is what's been happening and what you've been experiencing and why you've been probably doubting yourself a bit more. I just published a couple of videos from channeling sessions that I did a year, two years ago, and you can hear all the information there, but I was doubting it. It told me <laughs> you have something that could help people really live happy lives and become and, and contribute to the evolution, the ascension of the planet. And, and it's an ascension guide. And I said, no, I doubted that. Because then the other thing that was starting to happen, how could I have received information that was corresponding to events or times or energies that were happening in the world now. But I did. This is January 31st and of 2024. Tomorrow's February 1st. And so I thought, hmm, what did they, what was the trajectory there? See, because it's been in, which is the oddest thing ever, um, to give me the dates. Now that only started happening a little while ago, a couple of few years ago. Before that, I didn't necessarily go back to those old other messages that I received many, many decades ago. However, it's changed because our world changed. And so the information I began to receive changed. And it said, this is what your world is going to move through. And if you guys decide that you're going to stop your doubting and, and love who you are and do what you came to the world to do, the world would change. And I have something that can help you do that. Let me read this message to you and you kind of understand. This is the message from to, for tomorrow. Well, it's not going to, it's going to be different tomorrow, but it was given to me on February 1st of 2023. But this is how um, the, is this how our minds change as well? Um, it's over time. We use neuroscience. It's that evolution in consciousness, self-actualization. It takes time for that to happen. And this was the message. Okay, it is now time to move beyond more of your doubt. Yes, you exist at a pivotal time in your world and life. 
you could not have entirely accepted our message 10 years ago, but you can now. You have seen how much you were needed in the world and your life. And now it is time to move to the next level of who you were meant to be so you contribute to your planet's ascension. Yes, that is why you are here. February 1st, 2013, you will always have doubt as long as you are in physical form. And when you begin to embrace this fact, you can use it for your benefit and reach your goal of expansion. You have often um, taken your feeling of doubt about something and turned it into a judgment of yourself. When you realize that if you did not have doubt, you would have little desire to seek more knowledge and wisdom, which is that expansion. You hold the greatest amount of doubt about yourself, including your intelligence, abilities, and talents. When you begin to reframe the way you think about this, you can turn it into the impetus to begin become more. Questioning who you are does, does lead you to expansion. It is that questioning that we have to do. It is what mirror work, shadow work, whatever you want to call it. It's self-actualization. It's ascension. It's the same process that every human will move through if we choose to. Not everyone would do that. And this is the place where we are now. So this is why it's becoming so important for you to choose who you want to become and to really move beyond your doubt about what you can achieve. Our world is created energetically, meaning that if you're loving yourself and put coming to the world and bringing your gifts, because they develop over time, they're not always in front of us. But when you do that, then you're putting a new energy into the world and then our world starts to change. But that's, again, going to take a little bit of time because we are resistant. I was resistant. I couldn't tell people that I did this. You gotta. You must understand, in 1989, when I started really receiving this information and doing it every single day, I walked through every difficulty and healed everything in my life. To get others to understand that or believe it is, is challenging, but I'm not saying that you can't accomplish that. I just know what is possible because I've done it. And so what I do know is that all of this work, because it's been 35 years of me receiving it, I'm going to leave to our world. So I'm going to know that I have left the world better than how I found it, because that is what we, we really need now. And when you look at all of the conditions and the things that are happening in the world, and to think that you could make a difference just by loving yourself, just by becoming more of who you could be, and that requires moving through all the other limitations, you'll become much more excited about doing that. But I just wanted to give you this um, to, so you can understand what is happening in our world. And it is about you loving and becoming your best self. This is all the work that I've done. This is all the work that I'm doing now. This is what my four weeks to your best life is. That's what this original um, program is. And it's and it's brilliant because it's changed so many people. And that's what I'm going to continue with. But just be aware of what we're going to see, because there's going to be a little more what looks like chaos coming up in our world. But it's going to be to cause us to love ourselves more. That's why it's happening. And I'm doing a channeling session on February 9th because we have a new moon. It's going to be a powerful time. I'd love for you to come to that one. You will understand so much more. All right. See you guys soon.